Illinois League of Legends Roundup for today, Wednesday, February 16th. I'm going to cover the LPL games that happened this morning for week 5, day 3, and then also the LCK week 5, day 1, um, or it's week 6. Jeez, I don't know. I don't know what week it is. Nevertheless, we have Thunder Talk, and we have Top playing in the first matchup, RNG and V5 in the second one. Second one is a lot more competitive on paper, and game one was competitive. Um, so to kind of segue from that, if you haven't watched one of these videos before, I cover the key notes of each game. I go over the key moments and save you the time of watching, say, a 46-minute game. And I tell you, you know, when things happened around the nearest minute. So if you want to go back and see, oh, look at that outplayer. In the case of this game, look, if you want to watch the last few minutes, see the back door or the last 10 minutes of, you know, one team, the back and forth saves you 30 minutes of early game where I give you the gist of how we got to where we got to. Um, so yeah, or save you the time of watching 23 minutes of top completely demolishing Thunder Talk. So, game one. Top would go 2-0 in the jungle with Tien getting a double kill at level one. Thunder Talk would go mid at five minutes to try and respond. Top would take a cloud. Um... Top would then get Rift Herald, take an Infernal. They're cruising. Wayward dominated New today. Absolutely crushed him in game one in the Trindamir Graves matchup. He solo killed him at 13 minutes, as well as Top getting a kill in bot lane simultaneously. 15 minutes, they won 3-0 in the river. Um, Jackie Love with a double kill. By 16 minutes, Top are up 8-1, to 5.5k gold. They're cruising. T um... 16 minutes, um, Thunder Talk get a pick, but Wayward then solo kills New again. Top get a pick at 17 minutes. They go take a Mountain Soul, get to Mountain Soul Point. I mean, Mountain Drake or Mountain Soul Point. So 19 minutes, Top then win 4-0 in um, mid. Knight with a double kill on uh, Rise. He plays Rise in both games, ends up being MVP. Um, played very well in both games. Um, game 2 more so than Game 1. 20 minutes, Wayward solo kills um, UCAL. So Wayward has three solo kills in this game on the Trindamir. They're up 16 to 2. 12k gold without a Baron. I mean, this is just disgusting. Um, Wayward is 6 0 oh, 4. They finally take the Baron at 21 minutes. Wayward gets a double kill on top. Team resets. Then they end after a 3 0 team fight win in the jungle. Final score 21 to 2. Top just really, really did terrible things to Thunder Talk in game one. Game two, Thunder Talk would throw the first punch. I mean, geez. Uh, top would throw the first punch, getting a kill at three minutes. At four minutes, Top would respond with a kill, 2v2 in bot lane. There's another skirmish in bot lane that happened a minute later. Top would then um, relinquish the Rift Herald to Thunder Talk. Thunder Talk getting a pick to do so. There's a skirmish in river that goes one to one. At 10 minutes, New solo kills Wayward as he was playing Jace against Gwen. Um, top would then take a Hextech Drake, go top lane, Thunder Talk would get a pick. So all of this is happening in 15 minutes, it's a back and forth affair where Vision's being disrespected and teams are getting, um, advantages in lane. Top are actually behind and kills 6-4 to four to Thunder Talk, but are up 3.5k gold. So the players are just better outright in lane management and wave management and taking camps and taking objectives and maximizing gold. Knight is 4-0-0 on Rise at the time. Has all four of his kills. I mean, all four of Top's kills. Top take an Ocean. Um, they get a pick. They go to Infernal Soul Point uncontested. So, actually, Top took all four of their Drakes. Eventually, here, they go and take the Infernal Soul only a few minutes later. Well, several minutes later. Six minutes, to be exact. Um, and the gold lead's 5.5k. But Top took all four of their Drakes uncontested. Actually... When you take both games, Thunder Talk did not contest any of the seven Drakes that Top took. Which, I mean, and I'm pretty generous with contest. Like, if a team, say, gets a pick and then goes and takes a Drake, I'd say, well, it was kind of contested. I mean, they wouldn't have taken it if they hadn't gotten that five advantage and, and killed that person in mid or picked off the jungler to take it. Um, but Thunder Talk didn't even... Didn't even, none of that happened. Top just were taking Drakes in their face. 29 minutes, Thunder, uh, Top would win a fight after taking a Baron 4-0, Knight with a triple kill. Once again, 
there are no lives on the line by Thunder Talk before these objectives are taken. They're not fighting hard enough for the objectives. And with that Baron after it's over, top end, 4-1. to one. Knight and Wayward with double kills. Final score, final score 14-8. Knight ends up being MVP. He had like 10 of the 14 kills in this game or something crazy like that. So he ends up being MVP. He showed up a little in game one. It was him or Wayward, so I went with Knight. Um, either one, really. Wayward was very dominant in game one. But he got solo killed in game two, which kind of is a bad look. Um, could more be the Trindamir pick than the player itself. Series 2, RNG and V5, two teams in my top seven of my power rankings. Um, quite evenly matched on paper. Game 1 was a really, I mean, it was 46 minutes, and like the last 15 minutes were really, really interesting. Um, really, truly. Um, but, yeah, so let's get started. RNG would actually get out to an early lead in this game. They would go bot lane, dive, get a 2-1 to one lead, go top lane, um, Rich would then at five, six minutes, solo kill um, Bin, and Rookie would solo kill Xiaohu. So, RNG get ahead with a couple plays in bot and de in top, but at six minutes, V5's players just outright outplay the RNG um, opponent. RNG takes a hex tech, V5 go top lane, They're, they get a kill in the river, they take an ocean. By 15 minutes, V5 are actually up five to four in kills. RNG are up 2k gold. But Rookie is 3-0-0 on the Oriana. He ends up... No, he doesn't end up being MVP. I almost made him MVP, but um, Bodic ends up being MVP. So, and I'll eventually get to why. So at 17 minutes, RNG take a cloud after... Contet they got a pick to take it. Thunder Talk couldn't do any of that. Couldn't even get close enough to where Top had to take a, 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 get a kill or um, focus somewhere to be able to get an advantage. 18 minutes, B5 would win 3-0 in the, in the top side jungle. A uh, couple minutes later, win 2-1 to take a cloud themselves. 23 minutes, they would try and take the Baron after taking that cloud. They have got two kills, tried to take it. RNG would respond. RNG did a lot of responding in this game. And um, really were able to give V5 a hard time. 25 minutes, V5 were up 13-7. Rookie is 5-1-5. Um, and five. 26 minutes, V5 finally take the Baron after getting a pick. After the Baron, they win a fight 3-0. Photic with a double kill. Gives them a 3.5k gold lead. They end up turning that to 6k by the time this Baron's done. Rookie soul killed Jahu during that Baron. They go to Cloud Soul Point. 33 minutes, Victory 5 try to push for the end. RNG says absolutely not. They stop them as their Nexus becomes exposed. RNG winning 4-1. Vin with a double kill. And then afterwards, actually take a Baron. So it pretty much eliminates that gold deficit. Um, so all that the game state is, is our RNG have an exposed nexus, which is not good. Um, but the gold is tied. RNG actually go to Cloud Soul Point themselves during that Baron. Um, they make another stand at 37 minutes, getting a kill, pushing V5 away from their base. Uh, V5 then would take a Cloud Soul, while RNG tries to um, kill the minions in their base. Then they take a Baron at 40 minutes. 40 minutes of game is 19 to 12. Rookie is 6, 2, and 10 on the Oriana. Hard carrying. Um, RNG would have to make another stand at 41 minutes. Fodic um, had a double kill for V5. And Jahu had a double kill for RNG. So that was their second stand. Then they made a third stand at 43 minutes. RNG with a team fight win 3 to 1. Gala with a double kill. V5 finally backdoored at 46 minutes. With Karsa hiding in a in the top side bush, waiting for a minute and a half to finally end. Um, crazy late game. Um, it went 46 minutes. I would say if you want to start watching after, I don't know, 33 minutes probably. When eh, well, I would start at 32 minutes um, because at 33 minutes is when V5 actually pushed to expose the nexus and RNG pushed them away. And then for the next 13 minutes, V5 struggled to end where RNG put up a really big fight. <coughs> Excuse me. Game two, a lot cleaner out of v V5. Um, they go mid in the early game. They take a cloud. They go top lane. They take a mountain. Um, so by 13 minutes, they have affected the solo lanes and gotten two drakes. RNG have done nothing. RNG get a pick at 13 minutes. Rich solo kills Jahu in the side lane at 14 minutes. RNG take an ocean at 18 to try and stop the dragon stacking. 
However, Victory 5 punished them 4 to 1. Rookie with a double kill. 20 minutes. D5 are up 7 3. 4K gold. Rookie is 3 1 and 3. Like I said, Rookie, I wanted Rookie to be, I had Rookie as my MVP. At this point in my head, he was my MVP. Um, 22 minutes. Victory 5 get a pick. However, they could not. Baron RNG pushed them off. Similar to game 1. Um, 23 minutes, however. Victory 5 ace. The. Uh, RNG contingent getting the Baron Fodic with a double kill. Um, then they go and go to Ocean Soul Point during that Baron. 25 minutes, RNG get a couple kills in mid, force a reset. And at 29 minutes, Fodic gets a Penta on Zeri. Ends up being MVP. Pentas, I said yesterday, Pentas don't happen every day and they happen two days in a row. Um, nevertheless, they don't happen often. So, Fodic is MVP because of that. He also had three of the kills. In that big fight for the, um, um, yeah, three of the kills for the for the Baron, which was a big fight at that point. RNG kind of were were given uh, victory five some hell, and it almost could have ended up very easily like the first game. Um, so final score eighteen to nine. This is a big deal. RNG are supposed to be really, um, you know, with EDG falling. You know, it's anyone's kind of game up there. And um, now you got Weibo, Victory 5, RNG, EDG, all kind of in a mix. All have losses. BLG have a couple losses. LNG don't have any. Um, LNG's probably number one right now, I guess. I mean, it's hard to, if you're undefeated, it's hard not to have you number one. But, I, I mean, right now, it's LNG's show. Top looked really good. Top looked like the top of old in game one. Um... Game two, they were pretty clean as well, but game one was disgusting. So hopefully, top is uh, getting back to form, kind of like J excuse me, kind of like JDG is. Um, but yeah, that's for the LPL today. Now on to the LCK. All right, so the LCK, um, not as interesting of matchups. We have nine and seven, six and three. Um, Gen G at least has a real roster. Well, actually, no, they don't. Mental note, they don't, um, which we'll get to. So, um, just kind of one of those days for the LCK. Um, Fred and Breon games are a treat for anybody to watch. Um, truly, if you want to make someone suffer, watch, make them watch a whole season of Fred and Breon games. So, game one, uh, Fred and Breon take a mountain early. They actually get out to a, quite a lead in this game. Um, they take the Rift Herald. They win a fight 3 on mid. Lava with a double kill. Uh, that happened at 12 minutes. So, by 12 minutes, Fred and Breon are up pretty good. LSB take an Infernal. Fred and Brianna are up 2.5k gold by 15 minutes. They punish LSB for taking a Rift Herald at 16 minutes, 3 to 1. There's a skirmish in top that goes 1 to 1 at 17 minutes. LSB take the Cloud. The game would end up turning to LSB and Sandbox at 22 minutes, where they want to fight 3 to 1. Croco with a double kill on J4. Take a Baron, get a pick afterwards. So now the game after the Baron is pretty much over. It's 9 to 7 in favor of Fred and Brianna. It's tied, but Dove is 3-0-2 on the Trindamir. Um, Sword picked Sejuani in a Trindamir, and it looked good in lane. Did not look good the rest of the game. Um, but it was an interesting pick, a weird pick, Sejuani top. Um, LSB would go to Cloud Soul Point. Uh, 28 minutes, LSB would win 3-1 in top. Krako with a double kill. Fred and Brian would then respond by taking a Cloud after the reset. And at 30 minutes, Sandbox with 5-0, the bro squad in mid with closer getting a triple kill on silas at 30 minutes um so they end the game 15 to 10 game two uh fred and Breon swap out sword for morgan like they have been um in most cases i kind of say don't do that um i like sword but i think um the sejuani pick was not in their favor so this was an okay move i'm um, gonna paid off for them in game two so fred and Breon go mid twice in the first six minutes to try and get ahead in this game and get lava going LSB would take an Infernal. They would dive top lane. Um, Sandbox at 12 minutes would then take a Hex Hexec, but Fred and Brian would punish them, getting a couple kills. The next thing that happened was another Drake fight at 17 minutes for the Ocean. LSB once again taking the Ocean. They went to Ocean Soul Point, but Fred and Brian punished them 3-0. Lava with a double kill. So by 20 minutes, Fred and Brian are up 8-1, 4.5k gold, and Lava is 5-0-2 on Corky, I believe. Yeah, he's on Corky. So he's absolutely just just peppering the other team with shots and, and, and going right through them, his rockets. 
23 minutes, Sandbox go to Ocean Soul Point. Fred of Freon punish them for a third time, getting a couple kills, um, which then turns into a Baron and a 7 and a... And a uh, what did I write here? Take... Oh, take the Baron, go from 6K to a 9K power play. Um, LSB would get a pick. Fred of Breon would win a fight at 30 minutes, 4-2 in the river, Lava with a quadra kill. This was coming when the teams were trying to fight over the Elder Drake. Um, both teams reset. Fred of Breon would end up taking the Elder, taking the Baron, and ending the game at 32 minutes. Lava being a key factor in the end game, pushing to the end. Final score, 17-6, a real blowout. Unlike Fred of Breon, really. Um, Lava was really, really good. So game three was slow to start. Um, actually, it was a slow game in general for most of it. Um, Sandbox would take a Mountain. They would get a pick. They would take a Hextech Drake. They're up 2.5k gold by 15 minutes. Um, there would only been one kill by this point. Um, 16 minutes, Fred Brown would take a Rift Herald. Sandbox would respond, winning 4-1. to one. Ice with a triple kill on the Jinx in response, turning into an Ocean Soul Point. 18 minutes, Fred Brown get a pick. It's 5-2 Sandbox, 4K gold lead. Um, they're at Ocean Soul Point. They take an Ocean Soul at 23 minutes after getting a pick. There's a skirmish that goes 1-1 one to one around the Baron at 24 minutes. The Baron dancing would continue. 27 minutes, Dove made a great outplay on Jace. 2-0 in the, in the, I believe it was the bot lane at the time. Um, just completely outplayed Fred at Breon. Um, Resulting in a Baron, um, 9K lead, and at 30 minutes, LSB would end 4-1 in mid, final score 14-5, Dove ends up being MVP. That outplay was massive, it got them the ability to be able to go take that Baron. He also showed up at points in Game 1, um, as you may know if you've watched my videos before, but if you haven't. Um, when I pick my MVP, if, I mean, I really don't know who to pick, it ends up being who... Um, showed up maybe in their other win. Um, otherwise, it's whoever was the biggest contributor in the final game because all intents and purposes, game three is all that matters if it's one-to-one -one going into game three. And Dove's outplay was pretty massive. Um, I could have also picked Ice with this triple kill, but Ice really didn't do much other than that in this series. I didn't even mention him, I don't think so. It was kind of Lava or Dove, um, depending on who won the game. Series 2 went two games. Um, Red Forts got cute. Well, didn't even get cute. They're having troubles trying to figure out what the heck they want to do. So, they went with Dread Top. So, Dread comes out of the jungle, goes top. They put in Sylvie to play jungle. Um, BDD comes back. They kept Vital in, which I like, but made Ghost the support. I don't like that. I think Ghost might have to sit out. Um, and he looked bad in this series. And Gen G. Got their whole team back, except um, they put Zest in the top lane over Doran. Zest had his moments that he actually looked pretty good. Um, I don't know how much that was the Trindamir pick, though, because I feel like all day the Trindamir pick was just a power pick for anybody who had it. Um, so, four minutes, Genji would go bot lane to start the series off. Take Cloud with that um, Pryo. Eight minutes, there's a skirmish in mid, went one to one. Nine minutes, Genji would attempt a bot dive, which failed. Red Forest got a kill on that. 10 minutes, Zest would solo kill Dread. You solo killed the jungler that's subbing in top. I mean, I don't know what to say about that. Um, 11 minutes, Red Forest go mid. Gen G take a Hextech Drake. 12 minutes, um, Red Forest go top lane. 17 minutes, there's a fight that goes 3 0. Ruler with a double kill, resulting in Gen G going to Infernal Soul Point. Afterwards, Red Forest would punish them, getting a kill. So by 20 minutes, Gen G are up 6 to 5, 2.5k gold. 23 minutes, Gen G take the Infernal Soul after getting a kill. Gen G would then get a fight that they win 3 0. Zest with a double kill to take the Baron at 26 minutes. They end with that Baron a couple minutes later, pushing down lane. Chovy with a double kill. Final score 14 6. So, you know, a solid all around game by Gen G, but Red Force is an absolute disaster that doesn't know what they're doing with their lineup. Um, so. I mean, how great of a win is this? I don't really know. Um, game two, slow early game. Gen G take an Infernal. Red Force go top lane to affect the matchup. The next two instances that occur are Gen G taking a Hextech uncontested. Then in 17 minutes, 
getting a pick to go into Mountain Soul Point. So at 17 minutes, Genji are already at Mountain Soul Point. Um, they get a kill in mid at 19 minutes. The game is actually anyone's at 20 minutes outside of the fact that, I mean, it's a big deal that Genji are at Mountain Soul Point. But it's 2-1, one, one and a half k gold. Um, Redbirds could still turn this around. 21 minutes, that stops when Gen G get a couple kills in mid. Peanut with a double kill. Peanut ends up being MVP. His kicks were on point in this series. Outside of that one bot dive where he failed, um, he played pretty well. Got them into positions and um, with objectives to really put pressure on Red Force. Um, Gen G take Mountain Soul uncontested. They go top lane 24 minutes. After going top lane and getting a kill, they take the Baron at 25 minutes. Goes 2-2 two to two afterwards, so the game is actually still close. Um... But once Baron ended, Genji are up 7, 3, 6k gold. Peanut was 5, 0, oh, and 1 on the Lee Sin. He was just dominant in this game. So those two kills there, you got to imagine when Genji go mid at 19 minutes, when they get a kill to get the uh, Mountain Soul at 17 minutes, Mountain Soul point, Peanut is all over the place. He's affecting all these um, fights. 27 minutes of game ends, 3 1 in mid. Genji. Final score, 11-5. to five. Peanut is the MVP, like I said. Um, these games really don't tell me much, to be quite honest. Um, Sandbox is a, a coin flip team because they're so inexperienced. Um, so, I mean, beating Fred and Brian in three games, I'm, I'm not surprised. Um, I'm not. I'm really not. Um, and in this series, I mean, this should happen because Red Force is a disaster right now. I don't know how many times I can say that, but they are a disaster. So, this is kind of is what it is for today. Later today, my LCS power rankings will come. No, they don't. It's Wednesday. LCS power rankings come out tomorrow. My LEC power rankings came out this morning. LCK came out yesterday. If you want to know why Fred and Breon was seventh or or Genji were third or whatever, it's um up and was up yesterday. So, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, stay tuned tomorrow for more content. And yeah, thanks for watching.